So hello everyone, I'm Shreyt. I'm a software development engineer. So uh, we are starting with this lead code premium top interview problem series. We'll be discussing each and every problem which are mentioned on the lead code top interviews. And also this will help you to crack your next coding interview in the top notch product based company. So let's start with the problem. So let's look at this problem. Uh, so it says that we have been given a non-negative integer and we have to return the square root of the number. We can do it with a simple loop as well but uh, here we will discuss the binary search solution uh, for the same. Uh, so we, if let's say the example given to us is x equals to 4 uh, then our output should be 2. So let's quickly analyze this problem using binary search. Cool. So x is given to us as 4. So what is the basic binary search? Let's quickly write this. So this is the left. We'll consider it something. This will be the right. It will be equal to some value. And then we write the left is less than right. The traversal condition. We find the mid value that is L left plus right by 2 okay and then we check for certain values uh, if it is greater than or equal to then we go right if this is greater than else we go for shift the left pointer okay and finally we return the uh, here the minimal value uh, from which this condition is satisfied so for this what will be the minimum value it means we need to find a k for which k square is greater than x because uh, we need to find the square root so this condition will hold true and it will the value that it will return it will be k minus 1 this will be the minimal value so what will be the left and right so left will be obviously it will start from 0 okay and this will uh, go uh, start this will be x plus 1 because x plus 1 uh, will be considered in order to consider the cases of x equal to 0 and x equals to 1. So for handling these cases what we'll do we'll uh, make a binary search start from 0 and move to x plus 1. So let's say for 4 it will move to 0 to 5. So it will calculate the mid it will come something around 2 uh, two ish okay and it will check that if this square is so it, for this in the first condition itself it will be satisfied okay so let's try to code this one and it will give you more clarity how to uh, solve this okay so as we discussed int l will be equals to 0 and int r will be x plus 1 Okay, we'll check that while L is less than R, fine, we'll find a mid element that is brackets of L plus uh, R minus L divided by 2 in order to take care of the overflow conditions. Now we'll check that if let's say M into M is greater than x what we'll do we'll make our right equals to m cool again we'll uh, this is the if for the else part what we can do is we can make our l is equal to mid plus one fine and ultimately we'll just return L minus 1 because at L minus 1 we will get our minimum possible condition okay so let's try to submit this mm, what happens okay this is M fine so it got accepted uh, so it was a very pretty easy and a straightforward solution we just need to play around with the general binary search that we are having 
so try to submit this one and do like comment and share uh, so we'll meet you in the next lecture thank you